Stick around after the video for an update on the Corvair. Uh, you're not going to want to miss it. Quiet on the set! Sorry. So we got a call for a Jeep Liberty that apparently is on its lid. We didn't get any pictures because I guess it was dark when it happened. They didn't take any. Um, we're going to be meeting the customer here in Leeds and then we're going to head up north of Burl Junction up into the mountains and see if we can get it out of there. It's going to be interesting because we're going to try to get it running because it's way up in there. If we can't, we're going to have to flat tow it away before we can get it on the trailer. So beautiful day. It's 64 degrees. Sun's out. We got El Jefe with us today. How's it going? We're pulling the wagon back there. We got Rudy and Tim in Rudy's XJ. So this should be a fun one. Probably going to be using the winches quite a bit. Well. Hello. You want me hiding? Oh, uh, you. Just climb in the back seat here. Yeah, well, I was going to see if there was a burrito. A burrito. Okay. <laughs> so the gas station that we were counting on back at Newcastle, the, there's no gas. All right, so we're trying to find some food. Like I said, the gas station we were planning on, the pumps were all closed down. I think the store was still open. It was still open because the cops We should have got there, some so. food there, but we figured we had to go to Enterprise, but then we noticed this place had gas and diesel, which is what we need, and uh, we're just hoping there's some food. Where's the grocery section? <laughs> you got like burritos or hot dogs or anything like that? Oh, they do have oh, burritos. Oh, they do have burritos. Hot pockets. That's what I'm gonna eat. So we're, uh, we're about 20 miles away from the vehicle. The roads are starting to get a little too primitive for the power stroke, so we're looking for a wide spot to pull off and unload. This is some wild and rugged country out here. Cafe's gonna fit in nicely. <laughs> okay, Rudy, let's get the unnecessary things out of the back of your Jeep and put them in the truck, and let's load up all the gear we think we're gonna need. got kicked out of Rudy's Jeep for passing gas. What she's still doing in here. It just doesn't last as long as it would in the Jeep. <laughs> yeah, we have a pretty good ventilation system. I just gotta get over to these roads right here. I don't know the best way to do that. So we need to get on this road system right there. That's a wash, but it comes up here to road systems. So, I'm thinking like just cutting across right there. Yeah. So you hiked you hiked west out of the out of the wash. Oh I actually hiked yeah west. Out north of the wash. northwest. Okay. So we were talking to the customer and apparently um, he twisted his front drive shaft off, so it's only two-wheel drive. This was prior to rolling it. So we are uh, Kind of walking into a pretty hairy mess. We'll get it. How certain are you that we know where we're going? Like where it's at? Because he doesn't seem very certain that he knows where it's at. He sent me a pin, and I've got that. I'm just driving to the pin. Okay. But he might be wrong about where the pin is. It wouldn't be the first time, that's for sure. Is this looking right to you? Yeah, we're in the right place. I think we're up there a mile or so farther too. Okay, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It is. Okay, Max, you ready to do some running? Come on, boy. So we're getting further along up the trail here and it's starting to get a lot twistier and tighter. Um, just closer. This is a pretty big rig, I mean, compared to a Jeep, especially a Jeep Liberty. So we'll see, but yeah, it's definitely getting tighter. We're not even supposed to be doing recoveries with this yet because it's not finished, but it's really hard to resist. So he 
said that he said that the police were able to get here within like a half mile of where he was with their full-sized rigs so we're still seeing the police tracks so I guess we got about a half mile to go at the very least. Look at the dogs getting their drink. You're cooling off, lady. I think you gotta get up through there. I Ooh. wanna see the video of the Liberty driving through here. tracks down down in there so we're about a half mile from him now three or four blocks he says okay let's go it's got to be late 40s early 50s right yeah are you guys seeing this this is this is just ridiculous I can't imagine I wouldn't expect a Jeep Liberty up here but uh, that's what we're going to get. We've gone down some pretty, like we've gone through through some insane things. Uh, we might have to just move that. Where did, where did Duke go? I don't know. Did he do that? You know what I mean? Yeah. one tire in each bank. That's the only narrow spot right there that we're heading for right now. Yeah. And it widens up. Yeah, who knows like strong trees over there there's a uh, there's a couple pines and stuff yeah I'm speechless I'm without speech so there's where it caved off yeah master plan is to park, park the Corvair probably up in this hole and we'll run the winch line over to a tree across and then back to the Jeep and we'll flip the Jeep over into the wash further and then yeah getting it on its wheels is like number one right now.
So we're going to go kind of easy and slow and just see what happens here. I've, I've used kinetic ropes for tree savers before. They work awesome. But um, this is our first time using a Freedom Winch line in a, like a legitimate recovery. So we're going to see how that goes. Rudy standing down there in the triangle of death. So there's going to be people saying how dangerous it is. You might want to go show them how much slack is in the line. <laughs> I won't be standing here when you winch though, I can assure you of that. That's what I was afraid was going to happen. So here's the plan now. We're gonna work on getting it running if you wanna work on picking up the mess. So, since it's been over on its lid since Sunday and it's now Tuesday, um, we're gonna pull all the spark plugs and, you know, get all the oil that seeped through, seep past the rings out of the cylinder so that we can start it without destroying it. That's the plan, see if we can get it started. We can get it out of here without starting it, but it's, if we can get it started, that's a game changer. Freedom winch line, Heffy. Yeah, it works quick. Yeah. No looking it's for a soft shackle. No, that was amazing. And you used one of the further back hooks. That's yeah. awesome. Now that oil was just sitting in that lid, huh? Yep. So you wait. All that oil. No. Okay, I, I want to just do a gentle bump, gentle bump. Hey. As you were. I'm gonna bump it. He's gonna bump it. It's it's running. It's gonna run. We're just gonna put it sound like it was starting. Yeah, we're just gonna put it back together. We're thinking that coming out this way is going to be what makes the most sense. So we're going to start with that. I mean, every way is bad, but this way I'm hoping it's the best. With no front drive, it's going to be it's going to be pretty helpless. Yeah, we're going to put him in front. So, we'll have, so he can tow it when he gets stuck. That's yeah, good. yeah. And I'll follow out. There's a, there's a nice ramp just in front of that tree oh, to get back up on the road. On the road. So, Rudy, your Jeep. Um, you're gonna have to, I'm gonna try to drive down there while you are, but it's just to the side of those trees is where we're going out. Okay.
He's got to get some transmission fluid in it. I'm doing you no good. Yeah. Well, how's it going so far? Well, we thought about bringing engine oil, but we didn't think about bringing transmission fluid. But luckily, I know that engine oil works as transmission fluid in a pinch. This whole thing's going to need to go through and a flush for everything. So uh, this is going to do zero harm long term, and it's going to do a lot of help short term. I just didn't even use my whole shame on it. There's a huge advantage to having a little bit of dry. Okay, I'm just going to follow you. Well, we're going to drive it on out for a minute. I'm probably going to get drug a lot of it. I just want to say, you guys said the roof clearance on the wagon was short. <laughs> How's that one? I'm laid back pretty good, but anyway, we'll get it out of here. We've got we've got a couple rough spots coming up, but stay hooked up for a minute. I can't believe he got it this far. Uh, the other night I was out wheeling and uh, my exhaust got bent around the axle. And so just temporarily, so I could drive it, I cut it off. And I thought I cut it off far enough back to not affect the gas tank, and it is. You got a broken spring too. Yeah, I know that one. So we've got three vehicles that need to be trailers home. <laughs> and one trailer. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We can just stack them. Tire to tire. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's heating up that, it's trapping it between the body and the, yeah. Okay, just, just mosey on out of here. Yeah. Well, we got a 
figure out a plan. I think I can drive this home without an yeah. issue. The issue was in the slower stuff that the heat couldn't get like I think, that's, well, I think that's from the freeway. You think that's from the freeway? Yeah, that's when you're building those high EGTs and a lot of volume. So, if you take it easy, it's mostly downhill. Yeah, I'll, I just, I'll look at it here. Yeah, you can just head out. So we got up there, we got it flipped back over, got the fluids back where they needed to be, and started up and running, and pulled out of there. He's on his way home. He said he wanted to drive it, so that's what he's doing. It's awfully hard to see through that windshield. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're not. You don't have great visibility through the windshield, so. But I wasn't gonna fight him. Okay. So what's going on with the Corvair? We got the paint touched up. Then we took it up to Carter's Custom Upholstery in Cedar City, and it got. The interior, the headliner done, and a couple of other interior things, the dash and the hinge cover and stuff. And then we're gonna be bringing it down, put the glass in it. That's what's been going on behind the scenes. We're not gonna show you any of that, or we're gonna show you very little. Anyway, thanks for <laughs> watching. And I can't wait to reveal the Corvair to you, but I'm not gonna show it to you till it's done.